Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And it appears that SpongeBob is more than looking forward to this episode, judging by the giggling you just had there. Oh boy. Alright, so um, in the previous episode, we start off this game with um, basically learning the story, the plot of the game, as well as kind of exploring through Bikini Bottom. We also help Patrick complete his life by fixing his antenna, thus allowing him to watch TV, only for him to run off to some construction site. So apparently, it was a waste of time for us to fix the antenna, since he's not even going to be watching TV this afternoon. Oh god. Alright, so um, this is the other half of Bikini Bottom, and there's a... Uh, Basically, in this half, we got the basically one of the most essential parts of Bikini Bomb, the Krusty Krab, and of course, across the street, the Chum Bucket. Well, it's, apparently it's not directly across the street like it is in most of the games, but oh well, it's still there. That's the important. That's that's the important part. <laughs> okay, so if you jump on this clam right here, you can actually you can actually bounce when it, whenever you see clam like this. Um, if you jump on them, you can bounce bounce to really high places, which is very, very helpful. So, um, right here we have the pee. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely do not have to go pee right now. Oh, apparently we got... Okay, so apparently we got, we got a second tile there by by collecting, uh, 50... the 50th, uh, doubloon. Yeah, two of the lair tiles in each world is pretty much o almost always gonna be by obtained by collecting a certain amount of doubloons, and there's also another one that's obtained by collecting a certain amount of jellyfish. Just letting so you guys know that, even though I'm already going to be collecting all of them anyway, so there's pretty much no point having the game require all that, because I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, um, so again, more bus stops. There's actually four bus stops total okay throughout Bikini Bottom, and, uh, Basically, the the main point of the bus stops is it's basically the the way you get to different worlds in this game. That's how it works, basically. It's kind of like Bikini Bomb, Battle for Bikini Bomb, except there you take taxis. So as you can see, you can pretty much see the difference there. You got a bunch of these doubloons on either side of the Krusty Krab. Oh, tartar sauce! Clams in the trash again. Looks like Mr. Krabs will have to call the exterminator. Do not be so hasty, for these clams are just a part of this cycle of life. When a clam shuts its mouth, you can jump onto it and launch very high. Sometimes, valuable things are hidden in high places. Sure, go ahead and explain exactly what I just explained a few minutes ago. Oh, God. Yeah, that's gonna tend to happen, just letting you guys know that. Like, this game might explain something that I already explained, because, you know, because I just forget sometimes that... Sometimes I forget that the game actually is a lot more descriptive than it needs to be. Usually, like, I'm teaching newbies how to play this game. Oh boy. Well, to be fair, pretty much nobody plays this game as a newbie, because pretty much the moment you play this game, you are instantly an expert, because that's how easy this game is. Well, actually not... Okay, I wouldn't say that exactly, but... Um, at least... This game is easy, simply put. Alright, so here's this, uh, button that's randomly placed right next to the Krusty Krab. And if you press the X button while in the middle of a jump, you can do this. And right here, this is the... Ch the uh, changing tents. Basically, we'll be able to change between costumes using these tents. Um, there's four different costumes you can wear. Um, the moment you unlock the first one, two of them are already available. First one is the fishing gear. Basically, with the fishing gear, you can swing the net with the B button and catch jellyfish and also hang from hooks. Um, now, as you can probably imagine, since you need jellyfish, you, since you need like all the jellyfish in the entire game to get 100%, this is probably the most, the most frequent costume you'll be using, and you'd be correct in believing that because it's pretty much how it's gonna be. Like I remember how often I use this costume when I did the walkthrough. Like holy jeez, like I don't know. Like they they literally made this costume a lot more handy than it probably should be. But you know, with a game where they require all the jellyfish to be 100%, it doesn't surprise me. 
here we have the first instance of hooks. This is not the only time we'll be seeing these, but pretty much these... They're basically a reference to the episode, you know, Hooked, on from the TV show. And in that episode, Mr. Krabs warned SpongeBob about hooks. So let's see how we deal with them in this game. Oh, Mr. Krabs warned me about playing hooky. But they look so fun! Maybe just one quick ride while no one's looking. Ah, you little troublemaker. Those hooks can be very dangerous. But I promise not to tell if you use your fishing net to hang from them. That's the only safe way to do it. Sure, it's safer to hang from the hang with the net. That makes total sense. You know, because with the with a net, it's like I don't I don't even know how that makes sense. Like, how does using a hook to hang? I mean, uh, how does using a jellyfish net hanging from a hook make it safer? I I literally don't get that. That's something I never could understand. Oh, Pokeball. That's something I could never really understand about this game. It's like, how does using a net to hang from hooks make it safer? I don't know. Anyways, we have the letter N right here. Which is basically the whole point of learning how to use the jellyfishing net to hang from hooks. So that's how it is. Um, once again, this is the chum bucket. Um, behind it is... It's basically just acid. Just don't touch it. I don't know why they put this back behind the... Like behind the chum bucket because it literally has like no reason to be there. I was I was wonder about that like I seriously did. All right, so um, on top of the crusty crab there's a jellyfish, so we're gonna go on, go up there to catch it. Probably would made more sense if I actually got the fishing net before actually learning about the clams from the narrator. I don't know, silly me. Okay. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the crusty. Well, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's not do that yet because there's still some things we gotta do. So I got some jellyfish to catch. You know, little jellies. Actually, they're in the other half of the area, so I don't know. Yeah, what the heck? Let's go. To, let's go the other. Back to the first half of Bikini Bottom to get those jellyfish we could not get before, but now we can because we have the fishing net costume. Hooray! Oh boy, okay, so today is March 11, 2013, so I was already doing. I'm doing pretty good, have practice today. Meh. For those of you who don't know, I'm in track. Like, I really need to say that for the upteen time. Like, I don't know how many times I've actually mentioned that in my videos. Like, like, how does that even matter? Like, how is it, what does this have to do with video games? You're, you're doing an LP, so you should be talking about video games, not your personal life. But, you know what? Sometimes I just do that, you know? What I get from watching NCS all the time. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's an awesome LP -er, and it's totally worth it to watch all of his videos. Like the only LPs of his I don't I don't watch the ones that he does of games that I'm not interested in. And that's just something I do with all LPs, no matter how much I like the LP. -er. Oh, something else I forgot to mention. Um In addition to not being able to get all the doubloons, at first you can also not get all the jellyfish and bikini bomb. And here's why, because there is one last jellyfish that will appear later on in Bikini Bottom after you after you clear a certain level. And I won't say what that level is yet, but simply put, that one jellyfish will not appear until after you've cleared that level. Okay, this is weird. I've actually got it says I got 198 drop frames. That um, that cannot be good, because that's telling me that I lost a few seconds or so. Because this thing is like 30 frames per second, isn't it? So that means that I've lost at least like a, like 2 or 3 seconds, so that can't be good. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the video, because if it does, then I'll have to re-record again, which is not good. But thankfully, I saved after recording each episode, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, right here we have the very first, um, Thug. Yeah, these are basically, these are like the weirdest enemy designs I've ever seen. Like if that's, if that's not a strange design for a thug, I don't know what is. I mean, it looks okay, but it just looks weird. You know, like pretty much every thug you see on the street. <laughs> oh, God, that was not funny at all. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> Alright, so um, basically, deal with thugs, you just hit them, that's it. That's literally all there is to it. And their way of attacking you is biting you. Not even kidding. What the heck? That's the weirdest way to attack someone. Like, like, how do they... Like, I don't even know how... 
I don't know, okay, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna say anything. Holy crap, am I seriously gonna die here? Oh my god, I, I have been playing this game for years, and I never, ever in my life have died in Bikini Bottom. That would be like the worst thing ever if I actually die in Bikini Bottom. I'm just gonna say it, throw that right now. Boy, I bet you guys are just dying for that to happen. Oh god. Yeah, if I die in Bikini Bottom, like, oh my god, that's, that's it. I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna re-record this episode if that actually happens, because that cannot happen. I don't care if it's a let's play and, and there's a let's play curse available, I still don't, I'm not gonna take that risk if that actually happens. There's no way I'm gonna do that, I'm like, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, well, as you probably expect, we got a bunch of these, got a bunch of jellyfish, a bunch of doubloons, what you'd expect to see in any area of this game inside the Krusty Krab. And... <clears throat> Now, in the, if you, you may remember that in Battle for Bikini Bomb, you could interview with, enter, I mean, uh, what is it? What was I going to say? Crap, I forgot. Um, you can interact, sorry, with some of the, some of the items inside the Krusty Krab. Um, this, in this game, there's not really as much. You can still, like, make a, like, a cash sound whenever you walk, walk up to the cash register, like this. Which is pretty cool, I guess, but, you know, it's, it's a nice little touch. Which is, which THQ, I mean, yeah, sorry, Heavy Iron, well, actually, no, I don't think Heavy, Heavy Iron Suits actually designed this game like they did with, uh, Valkyrie Key Bomb. Holy crap, we're coming up on the time, aren't we? Oh my god, I think we're gonna have to end off the episode here, okay? So, um, sorry we had to end off the episode exactly where we started the first episode, which is inside the, um, oh! Pants. I need my pants. Pants are essential. <laughs> oh god. If you get that reference, you. I love you. <laughs> oh, okay. Before before it gets any more awkward, we're gonna end things off here, okay? So next time on Let's Play uh, SpongeBob SquarePants: Revenge of Flying Dutchman, we are hopefully gonna not gonna drop 198 frames this time, and we're also hopefully not gonna make things awkward again <laughs> towards the end because that was extremely awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will actually finish off Bikini Bomb because literally the storage area of the Krusty Krab is literally all that's left. Like the last of our tile, the last jellyfish we can possibly get, and the last of the doubloons are up there, okay? So I'll see you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Thanks for watching. Good.